All right, this time I'm going to check out Straw Viewer and Pipe Viewer. They're basically just forks of uh, the original YouTube Viewer. However, it's all maintained by the same person. Uh, what's his name? Trizen or Trizen. So he, he bought all this one. It's kind of like a Inception. A dream within a dream within a dream. So it's three different forks here uh, by the same person. So we're going to check out Straw Viewer. And Straw Viewer is a fork of the original YouTube Viewer. You know, um... But this one is using the NVIDIA's APIs or NVIDIA's is kind of like a, I believe is like a middleman to YouTube. Uh, they scrape like the YouTube stuff. And so they have videos from YouTube basically. But it's kind of slow here. You might not even get results. So I'm gonna type out, uh, we'll check out another one called Pipe Viewer. And Pipe Viewer is a fork of Straw Viewer, this one here. But uh, this one is a little bit faster because it actually has a, the main thing is that it will scrape from uh, uh, YouTube directly. And if it doesn't work, it will actually fall back to the NVIDIA's APIs. So let's say, for example, Pipe Viewer, I want to use Linux distro. All right. So this one is a little bit faster, like I said. And the other one, you might not even get results. We'll try another one here. Let's say we use uh, Ubuntu. How about that? We might get results later. But right now, I recommend you use Pipe Viewer because, you know, like I said, it's a little bit faster. And if I want to watch a video, I can just hit the number on it. So I hit one here. And we have our, let's mute that here. We have our video. You can watch it using uh, MPV as our external player. Um, so you want to search something else. Let's say I want to search for Ubuntu. And you know, I can hit the one here. I can watch uh, Ubuntu videos. All right, so there you go. Pretty simple, that's that. Let's see the other one. Okay, we finally get some results here on this uh, straw viewer. Uh, but pretty much the same thing, you know, identical um, interface. Uh, but this one is a little bit slower based on, you know, the website that it's, um, it's searching from, right? So if I want to watch the videos on this one, pretty much the same thing. I just hit the number. Let's say number one here. All right. So there you go. Now if I'm finished with that. I can watch another video. Let's say, for example, number 14. So we hit 14. Pretty much it. Um, so this one's a command line program to search YouTube stuff. So you can integrate this with, you know, multiple... Um, you know other applications like newsboat or whatever it is i personally this is how i do it with my tmux so for example if i'm searching or whatever word i have on screen let's say for example i'm i'm uh, using my web browser w3m here and i can use google.com or something like that and let's say i search for linux distro all right and let's say for example do we find a, a linux distro Uh, we'll say latest distro list. How about that? There you go. So for example, if I have, you know, a uh, latest distribution here and I want to search a video for it, uh, I can use my, what is that, Tmux copy mode and I can highlight the word, let's say red hat here. And um, it's probably not going to give me good, good results. So we do Debian instead, right? So we highlight Debian. I can hit U. And look at that, it'll open Pipe Viewer directly and I have my results quickly, right? Without using the mouse or anything. Uh, you know, I have my results uh, in a new window and I can watch, you know, whatever video on here. Let's say for example, number three here. And I'm watching the video right away. So that's it, pretty much it. And then when I'm done with that, I can hit the, you know, close out the window and I'm back to my, um, uh, my previous window here which is my web browser. And you know, I can search for another um, thing, like uh, let's say Nopix here, which is probably the first distribution I use because it had like live CD. So look at this here, Nopix, All right? I can, you know, watch the view from that, so on. So let's say, for example, let's search for one more. Do you have anything else? We don't got anything else. Uh. We'll just search for Linux distribution. How about that? You. 
All right, and if I want to, uh, instead of using pipe viewer, I can use um, uh, what is that here? I can use straw viewer using capital U. And like I said, straw viewer, you might not get the results quickly, but look at there you go, there you go. Finally, you get some, you know, results. But anyways, there you go. Those are the two um, things I use now. Well, back in the days, I used a uh, YouTube viewer, but you know, like I said, I didn't want to use the APIs. Oh, another thing is that if you want to set this up with um, Task Pooler, this is only for people that use Task Pooler, and you know what I'm talking about. But Task Pooler, um, you can queue up videos. So let's say, for example, you know, I queue one video here, and if I want to queue up another video, let's say, for example, oh, we got number nine, All right? And then um, what do we got here? Number fifteen. Right, so we have different numbers, and you can see that when I'm done with this video, or you know, if I close it off or whatever it is, it'll go on to the next video. And if I close this off, or maybe I'm finished with the video, um, it'll go on to the next video. So that's how you queue videos in here, um, you know, real quick using Task Puller. And let me show you the configurations for that. Uh, what is it on here? Uh, pipe viewer. So the only difference here is all you gotta do is um, if you want to use the original one here, which is MPV, uh, just change this portion um, here. I made a new one just calling Task Puller, but pretty much the same same code. It's just that I have the Task Puller. You know, all you gotta do is type in TSP. Let me zoom in on this here. TSP for Task Puller and an MPV, and then all your arguments that you want to use. Like uh, this is personally what I use um, for my videos. Always on top, no border, force window. We have a, a resolution, or is it is that resolution? Or size, I mean. And then uh, you have a geometry, All right? Stuff like that. That's what I use for, um, you know, the the MPV flags, right? Um, pretty much the same thing. If you want to use it with uh, the other one, which is called Straw Viewer. All right. Pretty much the same code. Uh, instead of using um, the default, which is just called MPV, you can use TSP space MPV, and then all your arguments that you want to use for uh, MPV flags, it goes into the argument uh, section there. And also make sure that it says TSP here. If you decide to create your own um, little block of, you know, configurations here, all right. Anywho, uh, I'll probably link that in the description because I don't want you guys to um, waste time doing that. All right. Uh, as far as my Tmux stuff, uh, this is the code for Tmux here. All right. This one is just in copy mode. And if I hit U, lowercase u, it'll use um, Pipe Viewer. Let me uh, zoom out a little bit here. So if I hit U in copy mode, uh, well, you have to highlight the word first and then hit U and then it'll actually just execute um, Pipe Viewer and it has your Tmux clipboard, whatever is in, you know, that mode. Or if I hit capital U, it will use Straw Viewer. Pretty much it. That's my binding. Uh, I'll link to that in the description too if you want to set up for your Tmux configurations. That'd be it for this one. Pretty cool program. Uh, you know, if you don't want to use um, U2 APIs now because... The original one requires you to have a uh, YouTube APIs to actually use it. Uh, but with these programs, you can't do comments and stuff like that because, um, well, who knows? Maybe he will. He maybe he'll, I don't think he will uh, do that because he, you need to log in and you need the YouTube APIs to do that. Um, but if you just want to watch videos, uh, using your, you know, MPV or VLC, whatever external programs you want to use, this will be it, all right? Really quick, you can integrate it like any program you want because it's just command line based. That'll be it for this one.